Hey guys, drop here. And lovely evening in Slovenia. No more snow, a lot of mud. Feet all messed up. I've actually got rubber boots on to like prevent that. Ah, so full of mud. But hey, that's not gonna stop me from flying. So, um, I got a six by six on, new one. It's a gem fan six by six. Supposed to be high speed racing prop. And I'm gonna test it out in the test jet, which is this Hobby King Blue and Go profile jet. As you know, if you watched any of my other videos, I use this particular jet to test out different motors because I can just easily remove the motor. And yeah, so let me not talk too much, just put the plane in the air. I can notice that there's very very little thrust. I've got three quarters of throttle and I can barely climb. And as soon as I touch wind I struggle. But I'm gonna do a high speed pass. And I can notice immediately I've got very, very little thrust and it gives me hardly any control of the control surface. Uh, so the 6x6 is fast, but I notice something that's, that's pretty critical. Um, as soon as we get some drag on the airframe, all of that speed bleeds off. And it's really difficult to control because of the low thrust. Um, And back there we've got a full-scale glider that decided to join me. But yeah, oh, um, I don't think this prop is for this motor. Um, it does have a bit of speed, but I think we need, I think we need a motor that's got a lot higher KV. Um, I don't think this 2200 is the best motor for this 6x6 prop. Um, let me just see how fast we got acceleration. And hopefully I don't crash into the full scale model. Well, for the, to the full scale plane up there. And I'm gonna come down for a landing. And I don't have much thrust, so the landing is gonna be pretty tricky. That was the 6x6 test. Uh, I think we need a higher KV motor so that we can get a lot more thrust off this prop. Um, it is fast, but it's fast temporarily. It's fast when you dive the plane down and there's absolutely zero resistance. But as soon as you come level, just coming level bleeds off half of the speed. Um, I don't, there, there isn't even enough thrust at full throttle on a 2200 kV to go vertical. 
and I can go vertical on a 6x5.5 and I can go vertical on a 6x4 but on a 6x6 this prop just doesn't have enough thrust and what I've noticed when I had this particular prop on a test bench it has 800 grams or 900 grams of thrust which is double the weight of the plane which is double the thrust grams of the weight of the plane but it is very very narrow it, it produces thrust sort of in a space that's wide and it makes it really difficult to control the plane because I don't have thrust over the control surfaces to pull out of something I gotta depend on the speed of the plane and the wind that's moving over the control surfaces with the speed of the plane and, and that, that, that doesn't really help because as soon as the angle of attack bleeds off the speed and there's not enough thrust to maintain that speed I really struggle to control the plane so it flips from left to right uh, not a good prop for this particular motor I think this prop would do well on a 2400 or 2600 kV motor if the motor can handle it but yeah that's the 6x6 hey guys thank you so much for watching and I'd like you to do me a big favor um, if you're gonna buy this motor or this prop and I've said I don't recommend them together but a 6x5 definitely does work very nicely but if you're gonna buy this motor or this prop to slap it on a 2400 kV or 2600 kV please use the links in my description those are affiliate links and it's literally the only way I can afford to buy and test these motors um, also please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video the next one I'm going to do will be a 2400 kV sunny sky motor on the same propellers as I tested this one well not on the 7x6 but from 6x4 to 6x6 and we'll see how it performs thank you so much for watching guys take care enjoy